YouTube video this is really out of my comfort zone so if I am a little bit awkward then you know I'll come out of my shell but I'm recreating a rainbow type of drip look on my eyes today which I will put in the video once I have said what I've got to say um but yeah I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys can follow me on my journey and let's get straight into it So first of all, before I do anything, I always moisturise, obviously after I've washed my face, because I washed my face twice a day, and I use the Nivea Soft Face, Body and Hands Moisturiser. It's really good, absolutely love it, would recommend, but yeah. I learnt this thing that if you moisturise your face and not your neck, you're going to have a really nice, like, smooth, shiny face and, like, no wrinkles, and then you're going to have a really wrinkly, gross turkey neck. So I've definitely learnt to do that, so I would suggest moisturising your neck. <laughs> now that I'm moisturised, I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer. I don't use foundation really very often at all. Um, it just feels a little bit cakey on my skin, and I don't really want to feel like I'm melting. That's how I feel if I get really hot and I'm wearing foundation. It feels like it's melting off my skin. So I just stick purely to eyes and eyebrows. So. If you're looking for more full face things, I would recommend clicking off and finding something else. But if you're here for eyeshadow, then hello! <laughs> so I'm going to start off with eyebrows. There is no right or wrong way to start off your makeup. Just know that. <laughs> for my eyebrows, I use Maybelline Tattoo Brow. This lovely stuff here. I've used it for so long. Like, I absolutely adore this stuff. It stays on. You could have it rain all over you and no smudges, nothing. It's great. I, I it. also go in with an angle brush because I know some people like to just, you know, draw it on. But my eyebrows are already naturally really dark, so I don't want to, like, make them really dark. <laughs> so, yeah, I, t I don't use that much. I only use a tiny bit at the end and then I use the excess on the front so it doesn't look as, like, weird here. But, yeah. So I start off just brushing the hairs up so that they're all out of the way, including my actual hair because that seems to just get in the way all the time. So I start off just quickly dipping it on the brush, not too much because obviously you don't want to have huge dark eyebrows like I already have. Um, I've already done the bottom but you just do a tiny weeny little bit and you just brush it through just so that it's enough to not make it look really frayed if that's the word once i've done the bottom i leave the hairs up because i find if i brush them down my eyebrows look really thick if i draw them in like that so if i have it like this and i can just look at it from this perspective i can get a better shaped brow but everyone has their own preference pre preference obviously so nothing's right nothing's wrong you just do what you want to do so now that I've got the sort of rough shape of my eyebrow, I'm just going to use the excess makeup on the brush and put that in the front just so that it looks a bit more full and I will take a spoolie and blend it out because you don't want to look like you have really gross harsh lines on your eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one as well, but does anyone have like an eyebrow that goes straight and then curves and then there's one that's like got a little straight bit and then it curves? if that makes sense, because I do, and I know some people out there do as well. Right, so now that I've done this eyebrow, I'm gonna do this one, just slap myself in the face. I'm gonna do this one, and then I will conceal. I don't know if anyone does one eyebrow, then conceals, then does the other one, but I do both, and then I conceal. eyebrows are filled in I need to go in with concealer just to get around the edges make sure it's nice and sharp um, I go in with elf concealer in the shade fair rose um, I am running so low on this stuff I need to get some more but it's it's really good and I don't like using like darker concealers for my eyebrows just because it looks really funny on me just because I'm naturally tanned here and then I'm kind of white here so it just looks a little bit stupid but Hi guys, really sorry for the outfit change, I was really busy for the past couple days so I had to stop filming halfway through. But I have done my eyebrows and I didn't film the process of concealing but I've already concealed my eyebrows. As you can see probably, I don't know. 
But now that I've concealed my eyebrows, I'm going to prime my eyelids by using a concealer because I don't have any primer. <laughs> okay, so now that I've concealed my eye, I'm just going to wait a couple seconds just so it becomes a bit more sticky. And I'm going to be using this palette by Beauty Bay. It's lovely. £23, you can't go wrong. And the pigment, great. Right, so now that my eyes are, well, my eye is dry, I'm going to be going in with a very dark purple in the inner corner of my eye. I'm just going to pack it on. I'm not going to worry about blending right now because I'm going to put all the colours together before I blend, just so I know how much space I've got. It's quite, it's quite difficult, I won't know. Now that I've done purple, I'm going to do some light blue the shade before was drama queen and this shade is paradise and i'm gonna shove that right next to it doesn't matter if it touches i'm just gonna put it there and blend it out when i'm done and then i'm going in with the shade granny smith which looks like this and obviously i'm just gonna repeat this i'll name all the shades but i'm gonna repeat this until I obviously complete the rainbow. And now to go in with the color Hello Sunshine, which looks like this, very nice vibrant yellow. And that can get shoved right there. Another thing, trust the process. I know that's something that you hear all the time, but seriously, it looks messy, but it will hopefully bring itself together. And now we go in with Heat Wave, which looks like this. It's a nice blood orange, maybe? I don't know. So I'm gonna shove that right here. And last but not least, we're gonna go in with the shade Hot Stuff, which is a lovely, lovely red. Absolutely love this shade. And that's gonna get stuck right there. It looks dreadful right now, I can tell. <laughs> But I will blend this out and I'll be back with you in a second. So now I'm going to have to go in with a really small brush, which I don't know if I actually have. Is it weird as well? I always keep the boxes. So I've got all the boxes to all my palettes. So I have this box for the palette I'm using. And then I have for all of my Jeffrey palettes, I have all the, bo the boxes. Don't know if anyone else does that. I think it's just because it makes me feel good about myself. But completely off topic I'm just gonna have a look for a really small brush because I need to put some black here to make it look more like a drip so give me a second and I'll have a look so I couldn't find like a small like round brush if that makes sense so I decided I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and kind of in a way cut a crease or something so I'm gonna go in with black you see what I mean and just go over the lines right because it, it's like a shadow effect i guess um the picture that i'm using anyway it has like some sort of shadow so i'm going to try and figure this out so just give me two seconds this is actually like way more difficult than i anticipated this is not the type of makeup that i do <laughs> it's gonna be so much blending i can't wait so I know it looks really, really messy right now, but I'm gonna go in with concealer and try and make the drip type of effect. So yeah. So now I've got the sort of outline of how I want the drips to go. I'm gonna try with a makeup wipe and the back end of a brush to sort of get the concealer off I guess so I can redo it so it's more showable if that makes sense right so now that I've done that it looks oh it looks so messy but I'm gonna go back in with concealer and do the drips again so that they're more showable so I won't lie I hate this. <laughs> I'm going to try as best as I can to fix this, whatever it is. 
I've made all of the directions exactly the same length, so that's always fun. I suppose you can't have you can't be an amazing makeup artist if you haven't had a few fails in your time. This is just so out of my comfort zone. That's why I'm hoping that I can somewhat fix it though. So I've come to the decision that I think this is just way beyond saving. So I'm just gonna set it and see what happens. Oh. But trial and error, I guess. <laughs> So I've set it. That's so bad. Okay. Um, it's great when your first YouTube video is something that you absolutely hate. This looks so bad. I thought I could do this. I think I might just need a bit more practice. It just doesn't look right, does it? Alright, well, I'm going to put lashes on and stuff like that, and yeah, I'm not even going to bother with my other eye, that's not me being lazy, that's just, if I can't do it on this eye, I won't be able to do it on this eye, but I'm not, like, extremely amazing at makeup, I just enjoy it, so it could be worse, you know? So I stuck some mascara on and now I'm just waiting for my lashes to dry. They are in the style Megan, which is actually my name. And um, one of my friends sells them. Her account is Lick slash UK. I will probably put that in my bio anyway, but um, she has a website and a Depop because I think, no, she doesn't have a website anymore because they don't, they only let you sell like a certain amount at the moment, but she's got a Depop. And I've got glitters, I've got lashes that, trust me, they're great. But I'm just waiting for these bad boys to dry so I can stick them on. It's a bit fluffy in there. So yeah, now that they are somewhat tacky, just going to stick them down in hopes that it somewhat saves this look. Oh no, it's stuck to the tweezers. No! No, this is the biggest fail of my life. No. Oh. Does anyone else get that? It's so frustrating. Just trying to stick my lashes on. Stay. There we go. Come on. Got faith in you, lashes. Do you know what? I think my tweezers might be a bit sticky. This didn't even save it. Looks dreadful. Oh. Do you know what? What I might do is I've, I'm obviously still going to post this, but I'm going to try and do it again at some point when I've improved a bit more so I can see how far I've come because this look is very much out of my comfort zone. This is what it looks like. Okay, um, yeah, I'm, j I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> so this is the finished look. I absolutely hate it. And this is not me being lazy, but I'm not going to do it on the other eye because I have got to get to work today and I don't wanna look like this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. It's always trial and error, but I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you want, you can comment and you can follow my Instagram. I'll put that in my bio. I've got TikTok, which I'll put in my bio. You can follow me on all those platforms and I will see you in the next video. Bye.